Greetings, hi, the war Al greets you, and welcome to another episode of Strat Talk, the series where we talk about strategies and tactics for the game Counter-Strike Global Defensive. We examine a professional match, and we figure out what happened here, and learn and grow together. All right, Virtus Pro versus Titan. I'm just going to let the auto director run here on this. This is actually, I think it might be the first Strat Talk on the map. DE Cash. Not really a map where there's a lot of strategy. I'd say there's more tactics on this map, but there actually is a strategy that went on here in the pistol round in the second half. So watch closely what Virtus Pro does with the information that they have. So, I mean, think about what information Virtus Pro has and think about the decisions that they make. They're able to trick Virtus Pro into a situation where they're able to get the bomb down. And now it's just a matter of shooting the bad guys. They have the advantage. And uh, with this 2 versus 4, which really shouldn't have been able to happen, they are able to hold it off. But how are they able to get that bomb down? That's the main thing that we're going to be able to examine. How can they get the bomb down without even engaging any counter-terrorists here? And all right, and actually, look at this. Taz. Boom, headshots the last guy. So let's hop back and check it out. All right, so start of the round, we check out our buys here from both of the teams. First round, you have 800 buy money. Terrorists are going to be buying two players with armor. And then three of them are going to be using nades and flashes. Those are very useful. If we check out the CT side, Titan actually does make a little bit of a mistake. It doesn't really... You know, it kind of came into play later, and it really could have come into play. Check it out. None of their players buys a kit as they exit the site. So there's no kit on Titan. You, you always want to have one player buy that kit for first round. May have just been a lack of communication on their part. Only one of them has the armor. The rest of them look like they're going to be buying... Um, actually, check this out. They may have P250s. Yeah. It's difficult to tell what weapon they have, but I think they do have P250s, which is not a good buy on first round, because Glock, um, P2000, USPS, are going to be one-hit headshots. I don't really see the, the purpose of buying the P250 when they could have used that money for a kit, or more nades and flashes, or armor. So prioritizing that P250, I don't know, because then look, they don't have a they don't have a smoke on these players. Scream in existence have a nade and a flash. Nade is incredibly powerful first round. And we don't actually have any nades except for Pasha here over on T side. Nade's powerful because it does a lot of damage against unarmored opponents, and you have to assume some of the players on first round aren't gonna have armor. So alright, as we continue here, we see Virtus Pro doing kind of a standard thing, but uh Titan is not doing a standard thing. They actually are putting three players inside of bombsite A. So they're stacking A. They're leaving one player to watch mid. And this player can also rotate to A as well. We see he's actually in a position to hold off an A push. And another player, Kenny S, is going to be the solo player inside of B. So this kind of setup from Titan is pretty much... Okay, one player playing B. If they go B, Ty um, Kenny S will call it and will retake the site. Um, B is going to be... I would say a little bit easier to retake than A, just because you can easily uh, come through a number of different ways. A, you can come through a number of different ways, but you have to rotate all the way around the map. So, counter terrorists, if they wanted to come in through A main or door to retake A, let's say that they were here in CT spawn, they'd have to go all the way through middle, all the way around here, through T spawn, Come through here for A main if they want to come out the door. Look at this long way that they would have to go. Whereas to retake B, it's just a matter of coming through here. They can also take the long way here, which isn't even as long as the A way. Upper here and lower here. So B is going to be a little bit easier to retake. So they keep this one player here. Virtus Pro figures this out and does something quite brilliant with it. Let's keep an eye out for what's going on. So Titan... I'm sorry, Virtus Pro is bringing the bomb over to A side. Where is the intel that they get, though? We see these players creeping forward at middle. So this right now looks like they're going to split B. They have that bomb set up um, on Bialy to go bomb side A. So it looks like they never really intended to go B side. Snacks charges forward. There's nobody here to deal with it. There's actually nobody in the site. So we see him pre-shooting a bunch of spots. And at this point... Virtus Pro has to know. They're like, okay, they didn't put a lot of players B, they didn't stack it, there was nobody upper, there was nobody checker, there was nobody sight. What happens Titan side? Is this Titan's fall? Get it? Titan fall? Because there's a crappy game named Titan, never mind. So we actually have two players, NBK and Smith Z, 
Rotate away from A. That leaves Scream the solo A player. And they actually have nobody mid as well. They all rotate through CT. So Pasha is able to play mid. One player, I think, actually does go to, to pick mid. So these two players here. So the Virtus Pro's mind right now is, okay, they're not B. Here's the plan. They're probably going to rotate over to B if we look like we're going to take it. So they completely fake this. Watch this. They are like, all right. I, I won't say YOLO because it's stupid. So I'll say charge. Terrorists just sort of charge through to their deaths. Entirely intentional. Causes the mass rotate. So the rotate is still in progress here. NBK moves to mid and does actually pick off Pasha, who's trying to go mid. But check this out. There's only really one player inside of the site and then one from Truck to hold this off uh, for these players. So they two-man this. Bialy and Taz. And by the way, Bialy and Taz, two incredible shots in this game. Two guys definitely look out for. So Bialy takes the first frag off of Scream, who's in the site. They now have complete control of this site. Counter terrorists need to rotate all the way back and set themselves up for the retake. Two versus four retake is actually should work. So they weren't really in that bad of a position. So this strategy from Titan, this CT side setup, is not terribly bad. But it allowed Virtus Pro to get this bomb down. And a bomb plant on first round for Terrus is very important. It's the difference between a, a third round buy and a fourth round buy if they lose the round. Or, or of course, a second round uh, armor pistol. So check out how they do this. This is very tactical. So we're going to watch it a little bit slow. Let's go in slow motion, actually. Uh, fourth speed throughout this engagement. These two players, Bialy and Taz, perfectly execute against Titan. Titan moves in one at a time. They don't actually move in one at a time, but Bialy and Taz, Taz uh, from Quad and Bialy up inside of the site where the bomb is planted, are able to engage this one at a time against the, or two versus one against these four players. So we'll watch this in slow motion here. And keep a close eye on their vantage points, on the, uh, the orange lines. So Taz spots NBK. They know one is at forklift. Taz spots Kenny Yes, moving in through the connector. Bialy spots them from truck, knows that there's two now. So now, Virtus Pro has complete knowledge of what's going on. Taz engages, falls back. Now Bialy's turn to grab the pick, because that one engaged. Taz, in the meantime, engages on the left, and then falls back. While Bialy, or, uh, Bialy engages existence, Taz moves back, ends him. We've got two players left charging into the site. Bialy engages first. Taz ends him. Now we have NBK coming in. Bialy makes a mistake here. NBK 1 versus 2. Not the situation he wants. Taz not in a position to help. And Bialy jumps up. Big mistake. But that allows Taz to move out and says, Okay, I know where that player is. And this is just... I mean, right now, 1 versus 1, it just comes down to a nice shot. And it is a nice shot. Get to the shot. Boom headshot. All right, thank you folks very much for watching. I am the War Owl, and I still have no closer.